Right, today I'm going to show you how to prolong the life of your car battery or protect your car battery using a small solar panel. So usually when you're not using your car, the car still uses power even though it's not running and the engine is off. It's because uh, it has security system like on my car here and also the stereo the stereo has to uh, memorize the music track where it stopped for the last time so next time when you turn it on it will memorize exactly where it was from the last time so all of these equipment uh, require power and uh, it constantly uses power even though when your car is not running so if you don't use your car for a period of time it will drain down the battery and that is very bad for a lead acid battery and especially if you have a car that you don't use very often or when you're on vacation or even when you make even when you use a car and you make short trips and every time you start the car it uses enormous amount of energy even for a brief period of time and when the car is running the alternator uh, start to recharge the battery so if you only make short trips and the trip is not long enough to charge the battery then uh, the power that's needed to start the car is not being replenished to the battery so it will result a negative energy for the battery even when you use the car so um, you still uh, gonna deplete the power from back the battery even when you use the car but if you use the car regularly and make long trips um, it uh, won't be a problem and in fact it's uh, very good for your battery because uh, every time you run the car it will recharge the battery and the battery uh, in order to, to be in good health it has to be uh, at full charge all the time uh, for a lead acid battery so anyway, the best way to um, maintain your battery and keep it in the best condition possible is to keep it charged all the time. So the, the, uh, the best way to do this is to use a small solar panel. So I bought this solar panel from Harbor Freight and right off the bat there's a problem. You see it only has a cigarette lighter plug and that go to the solar panel by this plug like that you see I have a Toyota here and for almost all Toyota the cigarette lighter plug is only connected to the battery when the car is turned on when the ignition is on and I want to use the solar panel just my battery when the car is off when it's not in use so when the car is off the uh, cigarette lighter plug in my car is not connected to the battery so it's absolutely useless if you have a Toyota that is so what I did is I just cut this wire right here and then um, put in a couple of alligator clips like that and then extend the wire so I can run the wire from the battery through here and through the through the hoop out then through this part here and then uh, into my windshield you can see the wire through the windshield this is under the windshield and the solar panel I just put on the dash like that And uh, I'm showing you the voltage of my battery right now, 12.6 volts, and that's pretty good. Consider it's 100% uh, is at 12.7 volts, so this is around 90% full. And before I did this, my battery is always around 12.3, 12.4, and that is around about 70, 60 to 70% full. And that is very bad for the battery. 
uh, because they always require to be uh, to be full. If they are discharged, uh, it will uh, accumulate uh, sulfation, and uh, that is the uh, lead sulfate. Uh, it accumulates and damage your battery. So if I don't have a way to charge it up when I'm not using my car, and uh, the battery is gonna die very quickly. Right, so I run the wire from the battery out through here and then through the inside of the windshield, and I can still close the door like that, and I can still run with the wire sticking out like that, no problem. Let me show you the the inside. So this is where I plug in my solar panel. Just put it on the windshield when I'm not using it. And when I drive the car, I don't need the solar panel anymore. I mean, I can just put it here, but it's kind of clumsy when I'm driving it. So I just unplug it, put it away somewhere down here. I'm not using it. And I just tuck the wire onto this corner right here. And off I go. By the way, this only works if you park your car outside. If your car is parked inside the garage, you're gonna hit, have to run the wire, run this wire uh, to the outside where you can uh, put the solar panel under the sun in order to charge the, uh, the battery. So there you have it, how to protect your battery and extend your battery life by just using a uh, small solar panel and uh, it's uh, very easy to install. And for my car, this battery here uh, cost me probably around $150 after tax and with the installation fee it's going to be around $200 and that's a lot of money to waste. So. If you haven't done this already, I would recommend you uh, to do it as soon as possible because the longer you keep your battery discharged, the faster it is going to die. And that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.